Yeah. Welcome to another fly episode of Easy Styles Variety Society. Today we come a, a little bit from the subliminal, you know, on the audio tip. I want to be a little bit more graphic with it today. I was trying not to really hit on this topic too tough. But we're going to hit on my man. Uh, I'm sorry to put it. You know, but uh, respectfully, uh, the energy in specific and exactly what I'm talking about being expressed and projected behind the uh, Trayvon Martin case. And I wanted to talk about the metaphysics of that or the action reality of that. So the first thing bringing up the brother's name I don't want to run it in the mud and be disrespectful and polite just want to use it for detail and exactness how the energy is being directed so first I want the energy is rest in peace and not only to Trayvon Martin but to all you know family respected loved ones you know and then, you know, again for Trayvon Martin. And again, we're going to just have a metaphysical discussion. And overall, it's a whole bunch of cause and effect going on using different polarity tricks as related to the Trayvon Martin movement. That's what I'm going to call it. Because it's a movement. This is the movement I'm exacting. All right, the way I'm gonna approach it is like I have what I consider an ideal outlook and what I consider my ideal outlook, basically. And also I have my skeptical outlook. And I guess I'm saying everybody should have their ideal outlook and everybody should have their yeah, they should have their own skeptical outlook too. No doubt. So. You know. After you get weeks of it. On Facebook. That's where I mostly experience it. It's like. The reality. The most like. The reality of it is is that it's an emotional situation. In the metaphysical speaking and breaking it down to basic blocks is utilizing emotions. Um, fear based and you know, right on that fear energy that's been being stoked in the fires. Uh, this is evoking some anger. And I mean, rightfully so. In a realistic sense, to a point, but you know, fear is never leading to not a good. But then, I think when you overcome the initial basic building blocks of the emotions, you can overstand it and grasp it from an extreme disappointment in a matter where you know. That anger was a flag. And you're extremely disappointed with that flag. You aim to remove the flag. I mean, that opens that possibility. Yeah, let's go a little deeper. Utilizing that extreme disappointment and emotion. And, And this is my idea, again. I'm extremely disappointed. You know what I'm saying? At this reality, if it's true. You know what I'm saying? If if, if there was a murder there. So let's see. Um. So again, the first thing is the emotions going to get hit regardless. That's the first thing. Basic gutter rolls, you know what I'm saying? You manage it to extreme disappointment. 
and I, this is one path I think you, you know this is my ideal path that we as a uh, society have the uh, courage to activate be activist enough you know what I mean getting where you fit in and push this though be effective activist and pushing this to justice yeah justice I think that would be the um high lottery pick gold top pick draft choice for me that would be a nice ending you know what I mean where all those emotions on the scales got balanced out to justice um We've been having an activist record as of late with the Occupy movement. And there's some protesting being allowed, but then it gets to the point of strict police state kind of thing. To where it's like uh, brutality going on, physical harm, physical bodily harm. Uh, and I, I'll say the Occupy movement is a non violent movement, and they practice non violent uh, behavior so you would hope that provided justice that would be the ideal thing for me you know and, and not just on the occupy but this is bringing in uh, race you know what I'm saying because it's just the way it is you got a Latino dude that almost look white wanna you know be the block club team captain type of dude uh, that brings in Latino That brings in the image uh, That brings in white That brings in um, Trayvon Black And youth Black youth The innocent black Even So um, Yeah it brings in the, the uh, racial aspect as well and they will be supporting and activating for the justice as well. So, um, moving on. Alright, now, one thing I was struggling with is in the spirit of courage. And breaking it down further, but from a more spiritual angle. Alright. What I was no noticing was a more conservative side where you have the idea of conserving a spiritual resonance you know maintaining basically and also resonating you know a creative resonance as well you know your harmony of resonance says uh, you know you you know also, I have here the power of expectation. We're looking at the lower left-hand side of the graphic. I wanted to utilize the graphics. So the resonance and then the power of expectation. Basically along the same line, I hold the resonances. You know, what you expect resonates and then it goes into the magnetic fields. I mean, you know, that's from uh, organic field of thought, pure thought state to a you know down to a magnetic state to a mind electric state activates you know action state and that action state go back to electric go back to uh, organic did I miss magnetic? Yeah I probably did more magnetic than the organic than the movement Right, but anyways, you need that conservative side. Like I said earlier, on polar technology 101, everything has a polarity. And we talk actually look at the top of this, even though some oceans we gotta manage now, right? So we can look at the polarity of courage. That's what we're breaking down the polarity of courage. 
it takes courage to hold resonance amongst strain, you know, strain, you know, even in a fight. The cool hand prevails in my experience and my lessons from wise ones. So those who can hold their resonance, the cool head, and hold their power expectations, you know, often continue through on their movement, basically, is what they end up being. So uh, on the other flip side of the spiritual is where my ideal is. Is the I would say the liberal side. The liberal side of spiritual people are um, under the courage emblem. They want to get activated and do you know go into the activist state, do something about it to help justice prevail for you know whatever, no for spiritual reasons. You know what I'm saying people going through different stages they go through their own individual experience and lessons and connections and whatever so let's move on justice so my thing is looking at the um Occupy movement, like I said, is going to um, violence. So, I mean, if this kept kept up or was kept up, is what I'm leading to sooner on my skeptical point side. But we still on my ideal side, because my ideal side still lead to like, dang, what's gonna happen? Or if we keep on going, you see what happened with the Occupy. So that also is in the picture uh, as something to consider. And be prepared for it, maybe not expect. Yeah. Move on. Alright, going on to the skeptical outlook. And instead of, you know, looking at from a raw point of view, you're looking at somebody who set it up. So this is not really emotion, it's a distraction. But you base it on emotion, you base it, hook it up to fear. Then you hook it up to hate. And then you see what happened in Tulsa. So, I was saying that you already seen that bubbling, anyways. That hate was bubbling, anyways. But you know the whole since Obama man man that's the my jump off for that hate to be simmering and then you got this and it's giving gateways for the hate to be able to peek his head through and that hate is angry and then it's projecting anger, anger to the rest of society that's what's going on right and that always leads to violence right so that's an excellent formula and plan. But if you, you know, trying to create a distraction, who's been creating patterns of distracting us, doing the oopsie daisy, oopsie duco? So we look the other way. But I keep taking rights. But you know, I don't want to rights have been removed though you can say that to a point to a critical point so moving on alright so again taking that distraction a little deeper and just like man what if you just feed to feed the hate feed that hate like the Tulsa spreading out then you start having a race versus race situation that's a little deeper too ooh that's a little more raw violent too kind of in a certain way it adds definitely addition regardless you know what I'm saying but it's violence so okay what's at the end of the pot of the rainbow why are you distracting so you be uh, show reason why you need to act government or you know whatever gun removal and then from a hate standpoint, you can open the gate floods of things you can take away because it'll be, like I said, that additional kind of violence with the hate and the race. So, 
so you could go gun removal first easy police state maybe you know what I'm saying for getting heated because it's possible and then like if you have to you start shooting with people you can eliminate you know those that would participate in, in race or race type of violence get caught in the hate those susceptible be strong next And again, like I said, even coming from the emotion of the courage, uh, a little anger with anger is the flag for you to activate. And if you're the one providing a distraction, you're projecting the violence. You know people are going to activate because you see they've been doing it through Occupy again, like everybody knows. Right? So you project the violence. And you know, Occupy is a peaceful thing. And they will get people arrested, but they're not gonna fight back. So it's like a. And sometimes we wonder, hope it doesn't just be a safety valve to vent stress. Maybe we start penetrating legislation so they can't arrest you and the police can't stand against you. You know what I'm saying? They got to work for you. Legislation to get that to happen. But anyways, from this, I see gun removal still as something that could be pushed at the least. And then a police state maybe, depending, you know what I'm saying, with that extra race might still linger into this because of that kind of a deep thing. And possible double question mark elimination of the lower class. You know, people have to start shooting. Do you know what I'm saying? With a shot. So, we don't want to check with that. Now, let's just do a little summary right quick. Shoot. Again, the line, I guess, from bottom, top to the bottom. The top is on a metaphysical level. This is emotional. And on the skeptical flip side, from my skeptical side, someone can place distractions to take advantage of those emotions. But forget about the illusion of the distraction, even though it plays a part of reality through the media and just people believing what they, what we, how we respond, react, both. So, um, but we want to start on the response side, handling those emotions, getting the management over them through extreme disappointment, utilizing courage. My ideal would be to activate you to be an activist in some sort of way to provide justice, which would be the good ending. There is that conservative side that says, hey, focus. Don't pay attention to the media at all. You know what I'm saying? Pay attention to your residents and hold that vibe and hold your field of expectation so that your residents stay on point. I battle with that. That's a nice polarity to balance yourself on and, uh, and, and at the moment, balance out, I would say. Um, the justice way could lead to the violence, that's the question marks. And they can at least get the gun removal because that way, it usually, the people have to back off, like I said, suggest legislation. But anyways, my skeptical side, and it's a reality as well, the, the fear and the hate produced by the situation, the way it is developing. And it is activating some uh, racial tension, or has a strong possibility too, because it's racial. Right, yeah, yeah, right. So, if it is a, uh, you look at it from a skeptical side, you know, that ratio is just more injustice is gonna happen. So, if you know that from a distraction side, you produce the environment to make that happen. If you 
you get it to happen from that hate level, you know, for example, the race situation, you get them crimes and injustices happening, you could definitely get gun removal, definite, not, I don't know about, but closer, definitely, you're definitely closer to getting a police state, and definitely closer to, like, burning, raging violence, it appears, it appears, that's why it's definitely important to hold that conservative side and remember the residents. Remember there is a word called love and expect it to be able to, to expect that regardless of what you think or not that it is a reality as well. For that has to be um, dealt with in reality. Don't forget that. Because that's, that's the, um, maybe that's the overall message. Don't forget about love through all of this. You know what I'm saying? Make sure justice gets sought after love. You know what I'm saying? Even if, you know, you gotta put your war paint on, remember some love somewhere. You know, and resonate. Holla at your boy. Yo, how would it just drop it? The Joe Easy style variety society hitting you with the fly instrumentals. Yeah.